Mercy and peace be to you from God our Father and from our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It had been a tough year for John and Mary Doe. Mary was diagnosed with cancer. And of course, the moment you hear that word, you know, it throws your life into a tailspin. Great shock to hear that. And uh, their lives would never be the same again because of it. A lot of time, you know, goes into all the doctor's appointments and the tests and the treatments. And uh, lots was involved with taking care of Mary. And uh, there was a great deal of time involved with that. And so it threw other things off as well. In addition to that, in the same year, John lost his job. Been working with the same company for so many years, and just like that, he was done. He was so busy caring for Mary when she was ill, and because uh, she'd be ill from the treatments from time to time, she wasn't always able to be at work. And with him out of work, that combination uh, really caused some financial strain. They were going through whatever money they'd saved pretty quickly. And so John had to get a job, any kind of job. But the job he got was a taxing for him physically. It didn't pay anywhere near what his previous job did that used his talents. And uh, because it paid so much less, he had to work overtime to make sure he'd be able to pay the bills. And so all the extra hours he's working, plus the time he was doing, taking care of Mary, meant he was an exhausted man. That's not all that happened to John and Mary during the year. There were problems with their children. Suddenly their son was not doing very well in school. His grades were dropping. He was acting out, breaking some of the rules. Well, it wasn't big things, but it happened over and over again, and that he would be doing that at all was very out of character for him. And this caused extra stress for John and Mary as well. And then their daughter presented them with their first grandbaby without the benefit of marriage. And uh, this caused troubles for them as well. The father of the baby didn't want to have anything to do with him. And John and Mary thought that was just as well because he's still a student, not able to do much for him. But there was an extra load for John and Mary helping their daughter care for that little one. So many heavy things came on them in one year. Such great stress, so much struggle they had to go through. How were they supposed to give thanks at Thanksgiving? How were they supposed to do it? The Israelites had it pretty tough too. They were wandering in the wilderness for 40 years. 40 years living in a tent. Now I know that there are some of us who enjoy going camping, but this is a whole different thing. First place, when we go camping, usually we drive to where we're going. And sometimes we drive in an RV or pull a trailer in which we'll uh, spend the time we're camping. It wasn't that way for the Israelites. They walked from place to place. And uh, they had a, a tent, tents to live in, and nothing fancy. They had to take it down when it was time to go. They had to pitch those tents again and again. We can enjoy camping for a week or two and uh, enjoy, enjoy it because maybe we'll camp by a lake or in a forest or in some other scenic place. But they were in the wilderness camping in a wilderness, that gets to hang out really fast. 
And 40 years of it, they didn't want any more. They wanted a home. They were tired of wandering in the wilderness. And then, when you think about why they were wandering in the wilderness, you understand why they weren't very pleased with it. God uh, did it to humble them and to test them to see whether or not they would, uh, with their own heart, with their hearts, do what God had commanded or not. And uh, God did test them those 40 years. Sometimes they went hungry. That's quite a testing, isn't it? And naturally, they didn't like it. So they went hungry, and uh, that was a tough testing for them. Couldn't go to the store to go shopping, though you can imagine during that long time they would have enjoyed having a chance to get some new clothes. But none of that, not for the Israelites. That was uh, not possible, nothing new for them. Had to wear the same clothes they'd been wearing from the beginning, the same sandals had to endure the whole time, the whole time they walked. There was great testing for them. And how was it that the Israelites should give thanks to God? How could they be expected to give thanks to God with all the trouble and suffering they were going through? Forty years in the wilderness, come on. But of course, there's more to the story than that. There were many reasons and many good reasons why they should give thanks to God. In the first place, God was with them the whole time. That whole time of 40 years, God was with them. And that would be a great comfort for them and, and peace. And uh, more than that, that God was with them meant that they would be protected. And as it says in the Old Testament lesson here that, and from Deuteronomy, that God would lead them all the way. Led them all the way those 40 years. God was kind of like a divine GPS but much more than a GPS. For while he did guide them and show them the way, he also protected them, provided for their every need, and loved them. No GPS can do that. God led them all the way. And uh, while it's true that they were in that desert to be tested. And uh, you might consider it a blessing in disguise. Yet it was a blessing that God tested them, that he disciplined them. For he disciplined them as a loving father disciplines his children. He disciplines them out of love, that they may learn and live. And this is what God was doing for the Israelites as well. He disciplined them. Yes, they went hungry. But it was for their good. That they would learn to trust God for their food. And look at how he provided for them. With a miracle food. They called manna. Because they didn't know what it was. <laughs> manna means what is it. Provided them with manna. Six days a week. They would be reminded as God did a miracle those six days to provide them their food. And they learned about God and how he loves and provides, and they grew in him. And though they couldn't go shopping, yet the clothes that they wore didn't wear out. That was a miracle, a great blessing. I don't know how long it is a pair of jeans of mine last, but I can assure you it's not 40 years. 40 years their clothes didn't wear out. 40 years their sandals didn't wear out and their sweet feet didn't swell. 
miraculous how God treated them. And then the greatest of all blessings, God had promised them a good land, a land with streams and pools of water, with springs flowing in the valleys and hills, a land with wheat and barley, vines and fig trees, pomegranates, olive oil and honey, a land where bread will not be scarce and you'll lack nothing, a land where the rocks are iron and you can dig copper out of the hill, the promised land a land full of wonderful things. What a contrast to the 40 years in the wilderness. He had promised them a wonderful land, and so he gave it to them. They had many reasons to give thanks to God. And John and Mary, John and Mary Doe and their family went through a lot of tough times. But they too had reasons to give thanks to God. Yeah, Mary was suffering from cancer, but she was alive for Thanksgiving. God had spared her life. And she too had learned much during that year, learning to trust God more and more. Her faith grew very strong, as did John. And while John didn't have the the job that he desired and had to work many long hours to make ends meet, yet ends did meet. And there was food on the table and money to pay to keep the place warm. They learned to trust in God and they grew in their faith. They gave thanks. Their children began learning from the mistakes they'd made. Oh, they still had more learning to do yet, but they'd come a long ways. They'd come a long ways. And while uh, their first grandbaby didn't come the way they dreamed it would, yet this was new life that God had given them, a wonderful blessing of this baby. They gave thanks as well for that. You may have had... uh, a very tough year. You may have gone through great distressing things. You may have gone through hard troubles. And you also have reason to give thanks. For God has led you all that way. He's been your GPS guiding you, being with you all the way. He's been your protection, your comfort, your peace. He's loved you all the way. And he continues to love you. He's provided for you food to eat, clothes to wear, a place to live. He has blessed you abundantly. And best of all, he's made a promise to you. A promised land. A promised land with such an abundance, with great joy. A place where we will be face to face with God and live with him forever. And all bought and paid for by our Lord Jesus Christ, to whom we want to give thanks and praise now and forever. Amen. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus until life everlasting. Amen.